Hey, I'm Andy, and we're back with Resident Evil 4, and we're just gonna continue right where we left off. We finally caught up with Ashley, and I'm still hearing this bobblehead statue, whatever you want to call it, clockwork. But we're in this new area. We're in the courtyard. I hope we can go back because this this area right here, the gap in the wall, is still. I don't know. It's like. It's teasing me, so I hope we can go back. I don't know if we can, but we're just gonna press on. We have to, I assume, go here in the tower lever. So, yeah, uh, we're just gonna explore this area a little bit more. We did briefly. However, there's some big crows there. I, I was gonna say, like, we explored it briefly, but we didn't explore all of it. So, yeah, maybe we'll find some cool stuff, like whatever is up on this ladder. Oh, so it's a switch. Oh, oh, those were the things that I, so I guess we have to hit three of them. Hey, look, the flag's been lowered. Like, I, I thought we had to shoot those things. Oh, there's some stuff over there, but, uh, oh, no, no. You. So there are dogs patrolling. That's not good. Alright. I mean, at, at least. The, I, I prefer the dogs over the, the spider like things, honestly. Those can just. Those can just be gone forever. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that was some quick action. I think I angered them. I did not. Or maybe I did. Maybe I did let them out. <laughs> oh no. Okay. We got a flash grenade, so that's good. So can I open this? No, we can't. can't open it, but we can go around. Or maybe not. So we're at 63,000 monies. Oh. Oh, I see. So then we ha Oh, nope. Am I- Oh, I need to heal. I forgot to heal last time. Oh, we almost have a full bar of health. I'm fine. I have a green herb. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting this many though. So. Be careful. All right, what's up here? Got there. Got there. Guess we needed to go here. So that's number two. What we need now is the center one. Oh no. Oh, the gate's open. Is it gonna stay open? Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have dropped down. Shotgun? Oh, I'm here. Oh, I, I went the wrong way too. I'm, oh, there you are. Oh, 
I wanted to use a shotgun, but obviously it would have hurt Ashley. <laughs> but I think the gate's open, right? You okay? Yeah. So I want. Fine. Where did I turn? I, I I saw like a crate that I didn't open. Oh, there it is. Oh, went the wrong way again. No, right here. So we got some herb. A boot knife, let's combine. Save some space. Well, that happened. So. That means this gate's open, so that's good. In a sense, so we can actually go back and I can see what that gap is. And we can save. That's always, that's always a good thing. What, is there a fish? Fish. Black bass. Oh, we don't have space. Alright. So we don't have space for that black bass, but we can sell it. <laughs> I guess it's worth some monies, right? Oh, you do? Right, let's sell some fur. We got this ornate necklace. Where's the fish? The fishies. Where are the fishies? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, this that was a trinket. I thought it's like, I thought we can actually sell her. <laughs> like, no. Black bass, 1400, yes. It also restores health, but that is what it is. Chalice of Atonement. A cup inlaid to those toiling for their past transgressions. There are three rectangular recesses around it. I might actually get this. It's worth three and we can sell it for more. Sure. <laughs> Good instincts. Case upgrade, yes please. Don't get yourself killed so let's now. pick up that <laughs> bass again, if it's still there. Is there more? Or is that it for this area? Okay, so we have a space. It doesn't look like a lot since we have these two big weapons, but we have space. We don't have bullets, but we have space. Oh, we can actually repair our stuff as well. Welcome. What can I interest you? So let's sell... Where is it? Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price will thank you. There we go. So the chalice is 7,000... Let's repair. It's it's seven thousand base. Oh, I, apparently there's more upgrades. Okay, I was wondering like, since we maxed out the one previously. Hmm. So what's the closest? I I think the pistol. Let's upgrade the damage. Ammo capacity. Oh, there's an exclusive one here. So that's how you uh unlock it. You have to max out all the other upgrades. Okay. You want a fighting chance out there, you best we need a lot of money. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have bought the upgrade, but oh well. Let's save right here. No. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, right. The, the gap in the wall. We are going to go backtrack. I was like, of course, I, I was pretty sure there was, there was going to be a way to backtrack, so... Luckily there is, and then these haven't come alive. Oh, they do come alive. In a, in a sense. Melee. Is there more? Is that one? Uh, looks like it's just a one. We get a spinel for it. So. Oh, that's why we needed Ashley. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. I need to craft ammo. 
All right, so we have 16. Might as well get some rifle ammo to be safe. It's open. Oh, I thank you. Thanks. And your name? I mean, I just crafted some, but okay. Epic chest. Whoa. Depraved idol. And a book. The Salazar family line has come to an end. In order to cure Ramon's sickness, his mother Catalina had invited the devil to enter their home. Inscribed is a brief history of the members that solidified the prestigious bloodline. First gen, Count Gregorio. The conqueror Gregorio led his men to eradicate the evil that befell the castle. Recognized for his bravery, he was awarded the title of Count and entrusted to keep the demon's seal for generations to come. Second gen, Count Hippolito. The sealer, uh, with great effort, he sealed away the plague of demons that emerged from the depths of the earth. He succumbed to the wounds sustained in battle. Third gen, Count Gregorio. Again? Huh. Uh, the architect... Uh, driven by irrational paranoia, Gregorio squandered his vast fortune on excessive castle defenses and strange elaborate contraptions. Well, I mean, I guess... I guess that's expl that explains some of the stuff we've seen. Uh, Lore-wise, I guess. Fourth gen, Count Jose Alonso the Tranquil. Alonso endeavored to restore the family's honor. Fifth gen, Count Alejandro the Lavish. Playful at heart, Alejandro had a courtyard and ballroom erected before his untimely death. Sixth gen, Countess Maria Isabel, the lady. Alejandro's widow, Countess Isabel, had a long reign before her death at age 90. Uh, seventh gen, Count Diego the Severe. Similar to his predecessor, Diego was exceedingly strict. He was murdered at the hands of a devil. Eighth gen, Count Ramon. His illness should have taken him. His illness should have taken him, but the, so that means it didn't? Hmm. Oh, I got a hand grenade. Is that it? Okay. I believe it's worth 15,000. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back. So, am I going the right I am not going the right way. This is the right way. Uh, yeah, this is the right way. Uh, like, I had a feeling one of those mannequins was gonna come alive. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. Do we have three? I have two Alexandrites, but I don't have a third one. I kind of want that bonus. Alright. Uh, I think we should save. Just to be safe. It's probably going to ruin the, uh, my grade, but whatever. <laughs> We're already at 52. Alright. Let's continue on in the courtyard. The courtyard. We need to find a third switch, which I assume is to the left. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, at least we upgraded the power. And it took some of my body armor off. Heavy grenade. Okay, oh, and a and a viper, which I'll take. So we have a heavy grenade. What's that? So that's a hand grenade. Oh, heavy grenade takes two. A larger, more powerful hand grenade that explodes with great power. Okay. Uh, we need a three slot. Just go like this, I guess. I totally forgot the Vipers was a thing. There's also a lot of goodies. Maybe I shouldn't, like, run. Random fountain. Is 
Is this where... Oh, first aid spray. Oh, there you are. That annoying sound is finally... I'm almost halfway. Shotgun shells. I am somewhat stocked now, but... Knowing the game, it's probably gonna... Deplete all my ammo. Wait, what? Oh, jeez. I didn't let them out this time. Alright, where are you? Oh, you ooh. Control. Alrighty then. So I guess once we get the third lever down, I'm gonna save and we'll proceed into the next part. I was hoping something would be in there, but... They haven't really... Oh, jeez. They haven't really... used... They haven't really used, I was gonna say, the stealth mechanic that much ever since, like, the very beginning. So that was where... There's more that I hear. That means we're going on the right path? Just want to get that item. Where was that item? <laughs> was it all the way back here? I guess it was. Gunpowder. Like I hear more of them, I just don't know where they are. No, nope, wrong way. Wrong way. Here we are, we're back to where we were. So there's more ammo over there. There might be another... Oh, there they are. Let's do a grenade. That work. Ooh, fancy. Shotgun shells, yes. Elegant chessboard with only two pieces. Imagine if there was a if there was a way to collect the rest of the pieces to add modifiers to the price. That would be cool. What's the- oh, we can unlock this. Fast travels. So where was the- oh, the, the one I shot was over here. Nice, handgun ammo. Alright. Last lever. The ominous door opens. Okay. That being said... Going to save... I guess we're gonna continue on the next part. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to... This can't open... Oh yeah, that can't open. So we need a... took a wrong turn again. I'm glad I was able to backtrack a little bit and we finally got that contraption out of the way. Because that sound was annoying me for a few parts now. 
Oh jeez. Where'd you come from? Oh no. You're fast. Alright. My upgraded pistol works wonders. I hear more. That's that's the issue. <laughs> oh, there we go. So it takes four bullets for them. Anyways, let's just save, and I guess we'll continue in the next part. <laughs> we finished the hedge maze, or I guess the hedge-ish maze. <laughs> Anyways, and we also got some upgrades, like the inventory upgrade. We sold some fish, and we explored that gap in the door, and found out that even mannequins can become infected, <laughs> which is really strange, but sure. So yeah, anyways, uh, until next time, hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna, I'm gonna leave this maze and s hopefully meet up with our contact? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.